What's up guys, it's Nick coming at you with another steelhead video. We are currently trekking through the woods to our third spot of the day. Um, I'm just now deciding to make my intro, but I have already caught fish today. So there's definitely gonna be a video. Uh, I meant to make a video last weekend and the first day I went out, I recorded all day and didn't catch a single fish. Um, it was really high and muddy. And then it dropped a little bit and I went out the next day caught some fish and the GoPro batteries were dead. So one fish I hooked up to, I ended up getting like, I think three or four minutes of a fight on camera before the GoPro died. But um, today we've got full batteries. We've already caught fish and uh, we're gonna see if we can get some more. I'll throw in the clip from last weekend just so it doesn't go to waste because it was an insane fish. But I'll throw that in and then after that will be the footage from this week. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace. Snagged up on a rock and I thought I hooked a rock. I saw that, you like stopped. We're just gonna see what he does. It's hot out, so they're not lethargic. They have a lot of energy. He's not gonna come in right away. If it's 20 degrees out, he'll come in right away, but. Yeah, I saw that stripe, that's crazy. He's not moving. <laughs> He's under that ledge right now. See him? He's just gonna chill in there. Yep. I tightened my drag a little bit. I might be able to get him in now. Remember, whenever I do tell you to net, head first, head first. He can't swim backwards. Watch out, back up, back up, back up. Back behind me, behind, like to the left of me. Um, I don't know if you just saw that, but that was a fish attached to an indicator. I almost just grabbed the indicator and it swam away. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> There's a fish. I think we got a brown on actually. No, that's a little rainbow actually.
pretty little fish. Hook came out, but it was the bead that had him, I think. So that is definitely the smallest steelhead. This could even be a holdover rainbow, but I doubt it. But that is the smallest steelhead I've ever caught. So we're just gonna let him go. That went well. We've been here probably about five minutes and we've already got a fish. So, couldn't be happier. I guess I should fill you in on what I'm using to catch these steelhead. So I've got my indicator about one to one and a half times the depth of the water. Uh, sometimes a little deeper if it's faster. And then I've got two split shots down to a swivel with my tippet on it. And then on my tippet, I have a bead down to a hook. And then off that hook is a crystal meth sucker spawn. And that seems to be what's been doing the trick almost all year. So we're going to try that here, see if we can't catch them. It is a little bit windy, so it's a little bit hard to control my drift, but see what we can do. So I have a feeling that my flies really aren't getting down deep enough at all. So we're going to add a little bit of length to our leader under our indicator and see if that helps at all. So I don't really want to add more split shots, start getting snagged up on bottom. There we go. Oh shoot, I just realized I left my net in my car. But I was right, my flies were definitely not on the bottom. As soon as I changed that depth, I uh, hooked up. We, uh, we don't have a net right now though. Yeah, I took the bead, of course. Good stuff.
beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. All right, we just got to this next spot. Um, the last spot we were at, we caught a fish and then some dude showed up and I talked to him for about a half hour and that entire half hour I didn't hook up to a single other fish. So, I don't know, I guess I caught the only one that wanted to eat. So we're gonna try this next new spot and see if there's anything in here that wants to bite. Just gotta get some line out. All right guys, so it's been a pretty good morning. I do think we're gonna call it a day right about now. Um, it's warm out, so the snow's been melting and bringing the creeks up slowly. Uh, at this point, it's kind of like a dirty brown. It's not full blown out, but it's getting pretty hard to get bites. Um, I'm definitely satisfied with today though. We got a nice little young steelhead and then an average sized hen and uh, I think a few other hits, but it could have been bottom. But I'm about to go upstream a little bit, take a drive, and if there's nobody at this access, I might try it real quick, but if there's people there, I'm probably just gonna go home and tie some flies for the next time I come out. But yeah, stay tuned for part two of this video. Um, if there's nobody at this access, I'll be fishing. Um, if there are people, then I guess I'll see you tomorrow or the day after that, whenever the creeks are fishable again. Damn. Damn. Usually you, you like go right down here and walk and spin in that water. You just fish off here and it's great. Are there holes down there? Uh, yeah, now this creek, the rest of the way is like the other big creek. All right, what's going on guys? So welcome back to part two of this video. Uh, I tried to record part two this morning. We went to the other side of town and fished those creeks and uh, they were all still completely blown out. So after my friend left, I just chilled at home for a little while and then I checked the flow charts and it seemed like elk wasn't looking too bad. So I came over here and uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. Okay guys, we got a fish on. 
Um, not sure what we got yet. It's not fighting too hard. Definitely shaking its head. Kind of just staying still. Believe it or not, we're actually not using beads right now. <laughs> Even though that's literally like the only thing I get bites on. I think he took, yeah, my mop fly's not eaten. So he definitely took the uh, chartreuse egg, but we got a steelhead over here. I missed him. How did that happen? I think we're just gonna flip them up on this bank. It's gonna be too much of a hassle to net them right now. Only thing we gotta watch out is for these trees. My God, that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna get a picture of this guy. And then I think we are gonna keep him. 